Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox scripting tutorial. Um, today <clears throat> we're going to do some more stuff with Jimmy, our little brick here. Basically we're going to um, we're going to make him a deadly brick. And what's a good color for a deadly brick? Everybody knows that color is red because of fire and lava. It's oftentimes red. <laughs> so um, that is what Jimmy will be now. <clears throat> Excuse me for my raspy my raspy voice. Um, okay, so in this video I'm going to be first explaining um, how to make everything work. Um, and if you don't understand that, then I'll then there will be another segment after the video. Um, I'll just be rambling on about why it works and stuff like that. That's um, sort of how I thought this video should go. Um, so yeah, um, here's our script here. I've renamed the uh, the brick variable to Jimmy, and I've done that with everything else here. Okay, so this is Jimmy's script, and um, before we start, let's go and do play solo. Okay, so how do we actually kill a character? Um, what? Well, it's pretty simple. You know, all you do is find the humanoid inside the character, and you set the health to zero. Ooh. Bam. Um, so now uh, the character is dead and um, he has respawned. Okay, anyway, let's go into the script here. <clears throat> uh, well, how do we find the humanoid in the character? Um, what we have to do is find the part that touched Jimmy and then find the, now that we have the part that touched Jimmy, it's most likely going to be the leg of the character or something. Then we get the the legs parent, and then the legs parent is going to be the character, and inside the character is the humanoid. Uh, now, let's uh, call this part. Okay, what did I just do here? Uh, I put part in uh, in the parentheses here. This can be anything we want. Um, it can be cheese or something, but part is more accurate because uh, when you call a function with the touched event, the the argument the first argument in in this function is automatically going to be set to the part that touched Jimmy. Now, uh, now what? Well, we now that we have the the um, the character's leg or something, let me explain what we're going to do. We're going to get the character from the part, um, and that's simple. We just say parts dot parent. Uh, actually, let's 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 just go through right here. Humanoid. Uh, we can. This can be anything we want, um, but in this case, it's going to be humanoid because it's going to be more accurate. We can say bacon or something. Um, but humanoid <clears throat> equals part dot parent dot humanoid. That makes sense, right? Um, because the part's parent is the character, and inside the character, we're going to have the humanoid. Okay. In a lot of cases, though, uh, the humanoid is not going to be there. For example, what if the Jimmy? What if Jimmy? Uh, touched something else other than a character, then it would try. Uh, you, you can imagine what could go wrong. The humanoid wouldn't exist, and it would break the script. Okay, so there's a method that uh, gets around that problem, and that's called find first child, and then in these parentheses with the method, you have a string. Now a string, it's just it's just you know a sequence of letters and numbers, but that's for a different video. Um, he, make sure you capitalize that, humanoid, okay? So, um, now, uh, now that we've used this method, it's, uh, it's more safely gotten the, the humanoid, um, because if it wasn't there, this would not break. That's what find first child does, okay? And then we need to make sure that, um, that this variable did not actually be false. So, if humanoid is not there, then it's just going to set humanoid to false. It may as well do this. Or, no, not really false, but nil. Nil just means non-existent. It's gonna, it's ba basically gonna do this line right here if humanoid is, if it doesn't find the humanoid. Okay. Now, um, if humanoid, then, okay, and uh, I'll be, you know, rambling on about this, uh, about this little line. <clears throat> And later in the episode, hopefully this makes sense. If it doesn't, then you can listen to me ramble. Okay. 
If humanoid, then now, now what do we do? We just say humanoid dot health equals zero. It's simple as that. But if statements uh, require an end, just like functions do, so we just say end, just like that. Okay. And this is our script. This will kill us when we touch Jimmy now. Okay. Let's go press F6 to quickly get into play solo. <clears throat> F6 on your keyboard. And if we touch Ooh. Jimmy, we die. Okay. I, I hope that all made sense. So, um, now let me give you some advice. This will, uh, this advice will probably make things a little less frustrating for you in the future. For me, anyway, I'm going to be talking from personal experience. This could be different for anybody. Uh, but for me, there's a lot of things that I didn't understand, you know? I, like, when I first started learning stuff like this, I was like, well, how does it know that part is equal to the, to, you know, the part that touched Jimmy? Um, um, I never really understood that. It's something that can't really be explained that easily in this um, there is a more complicated you know explanation to it um, but yeah um, just keep on practicing with this stuff even though you don't know why it works you'll know how it works and um, not really how it works but you'll know how to use it uh, you'll know how to use this kind of stuff there will be other things like that by the way this is me rambling now if you understand how this works then you can go ahead and move on to the next episode if it exists yet. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, that's some advice that um, might come in handy. Um, now, continue the rambling. What the heck does this mean? I explained this before, but I'm going to explain it again. Part dot parent find first child humanoid. Uh, if humanoid, then humanoid dot health equals zero, and that's probably kind of complicated. Um, well, Ethan, why can't we just say um, humanoid equals part dot parent um, dot humanoid and then humanoid dot health equals zero. Why can't we just do that? Um, well, let me show you. Let's go F6. <clears throat> By the way, this will work um, if we it, you know, it sort of will work. Ooh. Bang. We just died, right? Well, then why can't we just do that? It's because it's unsafe. What if the humanoid didn't exist? And let me show you in in the case that a humanoid does not exist. Let's unanchor Jimmy. And then we're going to run the game. Okay. Uh, actually, let me reset this. Let's go ahead and run it one more time. Oops. No! Uh, see, Roblox... <laughs> It does this weird glitchy thing. Even though I reset the game, it still has all the parts in the original position. It's stupid. Uh, let me pause it and fix it. Okay, so I've cleared the output, as you can see, in the window, and I've raised Jimmy. So now, let's run it. Bang. So even though when our character touched, the, uh, touched Jimmy, and it worked, when it touched this brick down here, the ground, um, what it did was it tried to get the brick's parent which that worked. Um, the Brick's parent is workspace. Um, and then it tried to get humanoid from the workspace. Uh, well, humanoid is not a valid member of workspace, and that's why it broke. The problem is on line four, as you can see in the output, it gives you the line that it's broken on. And in here, this is line four, the broken line. Um, it said part, okay, dot parent. In this case, it was the workspace, dot humanoid. It didn't have a humanoid in the workspace. Um, okay, well, what if we do this? Part dot parent find first child humanoid. Oops. No, I can't type right now. <laughs> okay, uh, and then why won't this work? Oh, let's reset that. Okay, um, let's run it. Uh, it still has no humanoid. There is no humanoid still. Um, and even though there is no human, what we still use to find first child, that method. Um, but uh, it's still bright. It's still broke. Why is that? It's because uh, humanoid is still not there, and that's why we need the if statement. If humanoid 
then it's only going to work if the humanoid is there. So I'm done rambling now. Um, hopefully, I, I'm really terrible at rambling and, um, and making it make sense. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but hopefully this was a helpful episode. And um, I will see you all next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.